in a narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 2003, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that the heaviest thing in the scales of judgment day will be good character. This includes showing good character towards Allah, the exalted, by fulfilling his commands, refraining from his prohibitions and by facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This will cause one to use the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the exalted. The essence of this is learning and acting on Islamic knowledge. The main narration also includes showing good character towards people. Unfortunately, many Muslims strive to fulfill the obligatory duties in respect to Allah, the exalted, but neglect the second aspect by mistreating others. They fail to understand its importance. A narration found in Jamia Timizi, number 2515, clearly advises that a person will not be a true believer until they love for others what they love for themselves, meaning, the same way a person desires to be treated kindly by people, they must also treat others with good character. In addition, a person cannot be a true believer and Muslim until they keep their verbal and physical harm away from others and their possessions irrespective of their faith. This has been confirmed in a narration found in Sunan an Nasai, number 4998. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once warned in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 3318, that a woman will enter hell because she mistreated a cat which led to its death, and another narration found in Sunan Abu Dawood, number 2550, advises that a man was forgiven because he fed a thirsty dog. If this is the outcome of showing good character and the consequences of showing evil character to animals can one imagine the importance of showing good character towards Allah, the exalted, and people? In fact, the main narration under discussion concludes by advising that the one who possesses good character will be rewarded like the Muslim who persistently worships Allah, the exalted, and regularly fasts. Finally. According to the main narration, if good character will be the heaviest thing in the scales of judgment day in favor of a person then this means that the heaviest thing in the scales of judgment day against a person will be bad character. Bad character towards Allah, the exalted, by failing to sincerely obey him, and towards the creation, by failing to treat them how one desires to be treated by others.